Hey, Duncan McPherson here with Pareto Systems from the field. I'm in St. Louis, just wrapped up a conference on the way to the airport. I'm at one of my favorite monuments in America, the Gateway Arch, right across from the mighty Mississippi. I love this symbol. It's so powerful and beautiful and understated. And for me, it just really speaks to not only optimism and the sense of adventure, but the fact that there are pioneers, trailblazers, forerunners, and in any adventure requires planning, uh, risk mitigation, but a sense of anticipation to help overcome any adversity along the way. That's not unlike your value to your clients. And uh, as I say this, I'm thinking about our friends at Lavish Cards who just introduced a couple of new cards that help symbolize your value. Uh, one has a sextant for navigation, another a compass, and soon another with an astrolabe. And you're taking your clients on a journey, helping them make mid-course corrections and adjustments along the way, but ultimately to arrive at a destination. And as Jim Rohn would say, it's not the wind, it's the set of the sail. So consider using these cards as your thank you cards and milestone recognition to help imprint your value in your clients' lives, to help decommoditize. And while you're at it, it's not a bad idea to go back to your existing clients and start to reframe gradually how they perceive you and describe you. I mean, you are the gateway to their success, but because of commoditization and the velocity of noise, it's easy for that value to be trivialized. We've got a campaign called The Next 90 Days that you can get from us. At the end of a conversation, you just ask your clients three questions. Just tell them that you're looking to raise the bar. You wanna make them the voice you listen to. Ask them the first question. What's the one thing you value most about our relationship? They'll say that it's you, which confirms that they value the person but don't fully appreciate the practice and the process. But then ask them the second question, what's the one thing they feel you could add to the client experience? They'll probably say nothing, you're doing a great job, or they'll suggest something that you're already doing, but they're not aware of it. And you can simply say that in your next meeting, for a strategy and tactical assessment of the, of the plan, just add an item to the agenda where you're gonna take them on a bit of a deeper dive so they have a few, full view of your process and have the complete picture. You know, it's interesting, one advisor today said that one of his clients suggested that after a review meeting, that the advisor sends an email summarizing what they discussed with the agenda. And the advisor has standardized that as part of his process. Clients love the enhancement. And then of course, ask your clients the third question. Just ask them, when you talk about me with a friend or a family member, what do you say? How do you describe me? And your client's answer to question three is gonna sound a whole lot like the answer to question one. They'll say, I trust you. Start the reframe. Help them understand your practice and your process, not just that you're a good person. Get them to buy into that panoramically. You'll competitor-proof them through the entire journey and into the next generation and make it easy for them to articulate your value to others. This is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems from the field. Thanks for listening. We'll see you on LinkedIn. And until next time, make it a great day. Bye for now.